Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. We are continuing our series of tutorials on LM Studio. In this particular tutorial, we are going to explain how to correctly uninstall LM Studio on Linux Ubuntu. The problem of uninstalling LM Studio as well as many other programs on Linux Ubuntu is highly non-trivial. The issue with Linux Ubuntu is that files are stored at different places and consequently if you just erase one folder that doesn't mean you have correctly uninstalled the program since some configuration file will remain at some other places and this is this especially the case for LM Studio. So let's learn how to correctly uninstall LM Studio. Okay, first of all, let's close LM Studio, click here and over here make sure that LM Studio is not running. Now, if you have followed the procedure for installing LM Studio that we explained in our previous tutorial on your Home, in your home folder, there should be an LM Studio folder. And that's the installation folder. Here it is. However, in addition to this folder, you will also see this .LM Studio folder. And you need to erase both of these folders. However, the story doesn't end there. We will have to erase some other folders and some other files. So let's start immediately. Okay, so over here, let me just resize this a little bit and close this and let's start. So I want to erase LM Studio folder. Okay, so to do that, simply type RM, RF, and then LM Studio and that's it. And this should erase LM Studio. However, you also need to erase this hidden folder dot LM Studio, which contains some configuration files. So let's do it. RM, RF, and here it is. Okay, now we have erased this hidden folder. However, the story doesn't end there. There are still several folders and files that we need to erase. To see where LM stores files and folders, let's now install plocate. To do that, you need to type this. plocate is a very useful and simple to use as well as fast command line tool for searching for files and folders in, on Linux Ubuntu. And after installing, oops, let me just enter the password. For some reason, it's not accepting it. Oops, let me do it again. Okay, let me now do it well. Let me make sure that caps locks is not installed. Okay, good. And after installing plocate, let's update the database of plocate by running this. The plocate actually maintains a database of your files and it actually searches this database in a computationally efficient manner. So let's search this plocate-i and then type something like this lm space studio and let's see what will pop up. Okay, so let's analyze this answer here. Okay, so let's see where we are. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have a file over here or a folder we will see later on. Then inside of .config we have LM Studio. Good. We need to get rid of this thing. That is inside of config we need to raise LM Studio. These files are in trash. I'm not going to raise them. Then over here I need to erase this file. This is actually the file that sets up the desktop icon and over here I don't need to erase anything on my desktop and that's it. Okay, so let's start with this file. I will, simp I will simply copy this file and then I will type this rm and then the name of the file. Okay, good. Now we got rid of this file. Let's go back and let's get rid of this LM Studio folder inside of the config. So let's now copy this, this path let's do this and then let's see where where the folder is there is a configuration folder it is over here so let's type this rm rf and then let's do lm and then over here let's make sure that the name is correct let me see just the name once again 
lm underscore studio good let me see actually it's like this okay so weird name since there is a space in the name and this is actually not a good practice so let's do this okay let's now make sure that this folder is erased okay doesn't exist over here however let's make sure by going to home let's go to dot config or we can also manually uninstall it so click here actually we didn't erase since you need to add an empty space so the proper way of typing this command would probably be like this rm rf and let's do lm and then this thing and now we got rid of this folder good okay so let's see where else we need to search and what else we need to erase okay if i now go back here there should be another file and here's the file i need to get rid of this file so let me just oops i didn't want to start this let me just type this the complete path so copy this path and let me do it like this rm and just the name of the file and this will get rid of the lm studio desktop file click y over here and that's it let's now again run p locate let's just first update the database of p locate and then let's run again the same command so let's do p locate dash i and then let's do ln studio or something like this and let's see what happens i'm not going to raise this since this is not an installation file this is the file on my desktop which is used to create actually the folder used to create this video and i'm not going to touch anything in trash and that's it in this way we have completely uninstalled lm studio however you can simply check here by searching lm studio or something like that it will not pop up okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and in addition to this video tutorial on my youtube channel you can find more than a thousand free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning ai robotics large language models and there is a special series on how to use large language models in Olama and LM Studio, which is, in my opinion, the best way to host large language models locally. And just a small update, to be more precise, here is the YouTube channel. You can click on videos. You can see all the videos over here. You can go from popular ones, or you can go with the latest ones, or finally, you can click on playlists, and over here, you can see all the playlists. You can see a playlist on AI Agent, on control systems, on how to do different things such as run computer vision algorithms. If you're interested in robotics, you can look into this ABB robotics or ROS or even drone building tutorials. And finally, you also have a lot of tutorials on statistic, probability, data science, etc. Generally speaking, there are a thousand videos and we tend to publish maybe a video every day or even several videos every day okay that's all for today and thanks for watching